Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. It's our Wednesday show here that we do each and every week uh, where we talk about and review some of the new releases that have come out and all the different genres we cover here. Progressive rock, hard rock, classic rock, all forms of metal, jazz, fusion, fusion. That's generally what we cover here on The Mighty Sea. So today we are going to take a look at uh, brand new release. It's their first release in, uh, wow, about eight years, I believe. Uh, yeah, eight years. It's their seventh overall. The band's from South Carolina. Progressive rock slash folk rock band Farpoint. And the album is called The Journey. There you have it right there. So we've been covering, reviewing this band's output, I believe, throughout their entire career. They got their start. Their first album, First Light, came out in 2002. So we've they've been sending us their albums ever since. Uh, we've covered pretty much all of them. And uh, this latest one from 2022 is no exception. So let's uh, take a look here. It's a little very eco-friendly digipack. you got the CD, which kind of sits this little rubber nub that's kind of glued onto the uh, the cardboard there so it just kind of sits there there you've got some information on who's in the band which i'm going to tell you right now we've got uh, dean halal on lead and backing vocals we've got kevin jarvis on keyboard six and 12 string acoustic guitar classical guitar electric guitar backing vocals a little bit of bass you got frank tyson on bass guitar eight string bass guitar baritone guitar electric guitar guitar synth backing vocals on uh, one track. You got Rick Walker on drums, percussion, and sound effects. Then you got Jennifer Wyke on lead and backing vocals and flute, along with some special guests. You got uh, John Berry, additional vocals on one track. Uh, Brian uh, Karelian, additional percussion on two tracks. J.D. McKnight, additional lead guitar on two tracks. And Dennis Mullen, lead and rhythm electric guitar on one track. Uh, engineered and recorded by Kevin Jarvis at Starcross Studios, except for drums and percussion recorded by Rick Walker and Brian Karelian and Dennis Mullen. Parts recorded by Brian and Dennis, respectfully. Anyway, <laughs> start reading it all. I realize I got you all here. So, so yeah. So uh, that is this particular album. All right. So, what do these guys sound like? Well, I mean, they're they're pretty different sounding. This is uh, this is not generally my cup of tea. I I I, I like Farpoint, uh, but I'm not a big folky anything, as many of you probably know from following me all these years. I am not a big folk fan. Uh, I do like some prog bands that 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 dabble in folk a bit, but it's not like an everyday listen for me. But as I've always thought with Farpoint, uh, you listen to this and you know it's quality. Whether or not it's something that I would listen to on a regular basis is really irrelevant. I hear this and I'm like, wow, that's really well done music. And I know this music would appeal to a lot of people. So I can very easily and talk highly about this album because I think it's a really good album. It won't be something that I'll be playing all the time, but I know lots of people would like this. So, and to me, it's, uh, it's a little, to me, it's a little top heavy. Like I think the, the more appealing elements of this album are at the front half as opposed to the back half, if that makes any sense. So I find that the first half of the album has definitely got the more prog rock elements going on. It opens up with this uh, pretty cool in uh, instrumental piece called Arrival, and then that moves into Somehow, which is track number two. Somehow is amazing. I love it. I love the, you know, the, the female vocals and the, and the male backing vocals. I love the, the weaving acoustic and electric guitar and all the sumptuous keyboards. Really, really nice track. Great chorus, really good vocal harmonies. Excellent track. As is the third one, H2 Origins, which is nearly eight minutes long. Really good mix of like symphonic prog and folk. Done really well. Great vocals, catchy, nice tasty guitars throughout this entire album actually. Um, but then it kind of veers off a little bit too far into the folk area, which for me, uh, you know, I kind of lose interest at that point. So you have, and again, your mileage may vary. I think there's plenty of people who would really dig uh, some of these songs that don't really work for me on this album. Like All For You, which is just under 12 minutes long. And this, I, I do want to say there's, uh, this is a very uh, spiritual band. So there are lots of kind of you know Christian themes and stuff going on throughout this album. Uh, All For You, like I said, is lengthy. 
uh, you know, it's just kind of, to me, it just kind of meanders a little bit. But there's some great vocal harmonies on it. Lots of lush acoustic guitar and keys. Uh, it's just, it's a little too folky for me. Uh, same thing with Reflections, which is the next track. Uh, just kind of doesn't really go anywhere for me. I'm, I'm wanting a little more oomph, which I think the first couple tracks on the album had. Uh, but then Footprints on Mars, I, I kind of like that. That's like eight minutes long. It's another one of the longer tracks on the album. That's, uh, again, dipping into their into the prog waters a little bit. Still holding on to the folk aspect, but adding more prog flavors, which I kind of dig. And then you've got uh, Departure finishes off the album, which, again, another brief piece. you got Arrival and Departure, kind of like uh, the bookends of the album. Departure's kind of nice, too. Nice little vocal layers. Doesn't really, you know take a lot of time to go anywhere it's just kind of like finishes out the album in just really really nice melodic fashion so you know for me uh what i really like here are the first three tracks and then track number six those are really my favorites uh but there are some people out there i think will really like all for you and reflections if you like more folk based material uh, think of some, you know, Straubs comes to mind a little bit when I listen to these guys, but, uh, you know, maybe like Iona, that sort of thing, those kind of bands. But, uh, you know, for me, a little bit too much folk for me, but that's just me. But it is pleasing to the ear, and like I said, I can I can totally hear the quality in this in this album quite a bit. And I always like their album covers. This is kind of neat. This is probably one of the least busy of their album covers, but still, I think, pretty cool because it, uh, you know, it is a journey. So there's the hot air balloon kind of floating over the ocean. Kind of kind of cool, I think. So, uh, yeah, good vocals. Uh, I like the, the flute. I didn't mention it before, but uh, um, Jennifer plays some really nice flute on this album, and that really works well with the acoustic guitars and, and keyboards and things. So there's plenty of flute on here if you like that sort of thing. So, so, uh, yeah, Farpoint The Journey is their brand new album here in 2022, their seventh album overall. So if you haven't ever heard this band before, they like I said, they've got six other albums. They're all pretty nice albums. I, I've heard a good deal of them, and uh, you know this is a kind of fun band if you appreciate the more folk aspects uh, of, of certain you know prog rock bands, or, or or I should say the more prog rock aspects of certain folk music, right? If that makes any sense. But they, they blend the two quite nicely together. So uh, check it out. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. I think that's going to be our last review for today. We'll save. Uh, we got uh, Adrian Ballou next week. We've got Alan Parsons. Uh, a few other things. We're probably going to get to that uh, Al Demiola, John McLaughlin, Paco de Lucia Saturday night in San Francisco, as well as anything else that happens to be crossing my desk in that time span. So I think uh, we got some other things sitting here too. New Fractal Sextet and a uh, couple of others. What else is sitting here? Oh, new Ben Craven as well. And yeah, there's some, there's some cool stuff here I have yet to get to. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. We've also got the links below to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations and our merch page for all sorts of cool Sea of Tranquility stuff. But, uh, you know, make sure you go to www.farpointband.com. That's it right there, folks. Starcross Music, farpointband.com for their new album, The Journey. And uh, go check out some of their other albums as well. So thanks for watching. I am Pete Pardo. See you uh, tomorrow with the Monsters Den and a week from today here on when, next Wednesday with more album reviews. Uh, until then, have a good rest of the week. See you soon. Bye-bye.